back to my channel for new here welcome so today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this fun festive Christmas blush makeup look this is part of my 12 days of SFX miss and if you're new and you don't know what that is for 12 days in the month of December I'm going to be uploading a new Christmas themed makeup tutorial so definitely make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of those I did do a look similar to this back in 2019 I did a little gingerbread blush makeup tutorial so I feel like this is like a fun easy way to add a little bit more festivity to your makeup and I definitely am really happy happy with how it turned out. I just think it's so much fun and definitely really fun for Christmas. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how I can achieve this Christmas blush makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey Spoops, so to get started I'm going to be going into my Fenty Skin Sunscreen and applying this all over my face to help moisturize it before going into my Buckle Bunny Beauty French Benefit Primer and applying this all over my face. I'm then going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics under eye highlight and applying this under my eyes to help brighten it before going into my Milani Supercharged Concealer in the color 120 Peach and using this to help conceal those dark circles a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC Strobe Cream and applying this to my cheekbones to help brighten them a little bit before going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 220N and applying this all over my face using my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in the color Mocha and I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I would like to contour and deepen. So this is going to be my cheekbones and my forehead and making sure to blend that out before we move on to highlighting our face with our e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Light Peach. So this is going to be applied under my eyes and to my forehead before once again blending this out. I'm then going to be setting my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder. Before we move on to contour, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking this contour shade, and I'm going to be applying it over the areas that we applied the cream contour. This is going to help set and deepen that contour from earlier, along with highlighting our face with this banana color as well. I'm then going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and using this to help bronze up my face, I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones and my forehead before moving on to eyeshadow where I'm going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this all over my eyelids. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Palette, taking Eat Eat, and I'm going to be using this to apply to the outer corner of my eyes and softly blending this in and also applying it to my lower lash line before going into Little Buck and doing the exact same thing by applying this to the outer corner of my eyes and then also to my lower lash line as well before making sure to blend this out. I'm then going to be taking my North Pole eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this to the brow bone to help highlight it and then also to the inner corner of the eye and softly blend this into the center of my eye. I'm then going to be taking Handsome Nose and applying this to the center of my eyelid before going into Snowbank and applying this over top of the inner corner and the center of my eye to help blend it together. I'm then going to be creating a winged eyeliner look with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner. So I'm just creating the wing on my upper lash line before going ahead and prepping my eyelashes by curling them and going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and sweeping this through my upper and my lower lashes. For my false eyelashes, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Tardiest Wifey Fake Lashes and applying that to my upper lash line before moving on to highlighter where I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder and applying that to my cheekbones and my forehead. Next, I'm going to be moving on to the base of my blush where I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Court of Miracles blush and applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending that over the bridge of my nose before moving on to my Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette in blaze and I'm going to be applying this over top as well and this is going to help brighten the center of my cheeks. Next we're going to be having a little bit of a Bob Ross body paint moment where I'm showcasing all of the body paints that I'm going to be using for this look. So I'm going to be using my Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green and my Made You Look body paints in Cherry, Sunflower, Cobalt, Yeti, and Ink. I'm going to be starting off by creating this beautiful little Christmas tree on my cheek using my green body paint and I'm going to be creating another one on my other cheek as well. I wanted this look to have a few little candy canes so as you can see I'm going to be creating two on each cheek before going ahead and creating a little piece of holly on either side of my face. I'm then going to be creating a little Christmas present on my cheeks as well by starting off by creating a little red square and then using the red body paint to also create the little berries on my holly or mistletoe as well. 
I'm also going to be applying the little stripes on my candy canes, and then I'm going to be creating the yellow star on my Christmas tree. And since I had the yellow out, I went ahead and created the little ornaments on my Christmas tree and then just decided to add the rest of the colored ornaments to the tree as well before going back into my sunflower body paint and creating the little bow on my presents. I still felt like something was missing, so I decided to create a cute little snowman on my cheeks. So I'm just gonna be creating like two and a half little circles and creating a little face on that as well before taking my black body paint and lightly outlining some of these shapes. The ones that I focused on the most were obviously my little holly, and then I'm even going to be going into my Carnival 3 Be Perfect Lagoon eyeshadow, and I'm going to be applying this to my snowman to help give it a little bit more definition. I'm then going to be taking my khaki eyeshadow and I'm going to be going ahead and lightly outlining these pieces to give them a little bit of shadow. You want to use a nice thin brush and keep to one side of the piece if possible to definitely make it look a little bit more realistic and then take a little bit of black body paint to lightly outline some of the pieces to help them separate from your face a little bit more and look like they're floating. I then went ahead and took some of my white body paint. I'm going to be creating little tiny snowflakes or dots all over my cheeks. This is going to help kind of bring the look together and blend everything and make it one cohesive look. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Lip Liner in Rudolph and I'm going to be going ahead and outlining my lips before taking my ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Lipstick in Rudolph and applying this over my lips as well. I then wanted to give it a subtle gold sheen, so I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Lip Gloss in Bibbidi and applying this over top of my lips before setting my face with my One Size Beauty on Till Dawn Setting Mist. And that is my completed easy Christmas blush makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Bye!